Zack Sabre Jr. versus a mystery opponent. A mystery opponent, as you all know by now, Claudio Castagnoli. And he comes out, and from the jump, as they say, he is so happy to be there. And the crowd is so happy to see him. And a lot of his former colleagues were so happy for him and made it known publicly via the Twitters. I saw Becky Lynch. I know, obviously, uh, Xavier Woods, who's one of his best friends. And everyone's very happy to see this guy succeed and do well and have a chance to perform. So one of the things I love about All Elite Wrestling, and uh, and New Japan, actually, but it, it was very evident on, on this show, uh, is not every match is the same. And this match, and you knew it's a Zack Sabre Jr. match anyway, so it's obviously going to be different than everything else. But no, no one had done a match where the bell rings and the guy who just debuted charges over, hits a running elbow, and then hits his finish for two. <laughs> that is why they started this. The bell rang. Claudio ran and hit an elbow, or a European uppercut, whatever you want to call it. He hits the uh, neutralizer, the Gotch-style face buster. He gets the 2.9 count, and Zach kicks out and rolls out of the ring, and he's alive, but he is fighting for his life for the next several minutes, just trying to survive. And finally, he's able to like, dodge a kick on the apron and snap Claudio's leg in the ropes and take over. And then it becomes a Zack Sabre Jr. match. And uh, he ties the guy up, and he ties his arm up, and his legs up, and his neck up. And he's just going hold for hold for hold for hold for hold. And this crowd appreciated it. It was not as spectacular as Sting diving off the entranceway or uh, uh, the Young Bucks doing a bunch of flips or Orange Cassidy Will Ospreay going 1,000 miles an hour. But it was great professional wrestling. And this crowd appreciated it very much. They just spot where Zach's going for an arm bar, and uh, Claudio does the the, the the gotch lift, the Carl gotch lift, it gets him up, but they fall out of the ring, still in the arm bar. So Claudio lifts him up up again, walks up the stairs with him, and then power bombs him into the ring. That was ridiculous. He keep doing this. They, they start teasing the giant swing, and every time he gets cut off, the crowd gets more and more pissed. Finally, he hits it, but he can only do the four reps, as you noted. He goes with a sharpshooter. It gets turned into a variety of nasty-looking leg locks and ankle locks and heel hooks and knee bars and all this. And finally, Claudio, kind of out of nowhere, catches him with a pop-up elbow to set him up. A big spitting lariat. And the Ricola bomb for the win. It was a very good match. It was a great contrast from everything else in the show. I thought maybe one little few minutes past his peak. But uh, Claudio gets the big win in his debut. The big win going into blood and guts. I was... I. I, I Surprise is the wrong word, but they still have uh, Daniel Bryan and uh, Zach to do. I guess they can still do it. Zach's not like Zach was undefeated like Goldberg or something. But uh. Well, I think the thing is, I don't know when they're going to do uh, Bryan Danielson and Zach Sabre Jr., but uh, it may not be for a year. It may not be until the next Forbidden Door. It may be Forbidden Door 23, yeah. I mean, maybe they'll let Brian Danielson go over there and wrestle him. But, you know, Tony talked about how he had put the Ixne on Moxley and Tanahashi because he wanted that match on one of his shows. And so I feel it's probably going to be the same with Zack Sabre Jr. and Brian Danielson. So the idea may be, well, dude, he, Zack Sabre Jr. does a job in 2022. Uh, people will be fine seeing him and Brian Danielson in a dream match in 2023. Yeah. Hopefully everyone lasts that long. But... The thing about this match, I thought this match was a very good match. I did not think it was a great match. And the reason for that is because uh, both guys have a strength, I feel. And I feel that, uh, you know, Zack Sabre Jr.'s strength is obviously his technical wrestling, countering into technical wrestling moves. and uh, And a lot of that means... You know, his his best matches are sometimes after he's wrestled somebody the first time. So you do the first match, you establish all the moves, and then the second match you start countering all the moves and everything like that and all these crazy awesome counters, et cetera, et cetera. Claudio, from, from all the way dating all the way back to Chikara, I have always felt that his strength is he is such an incredible base. So he works best with, with smaller more spectacular wrestlers. You do Claudio and Pac. You do Claudio and Orange Cassidy. You do whoever. And it's going to be out of this world. This was like neither man. They played a neither man's strength. Yes, Zach worked over a limb. Yes, you know, Claudio did some power moves and everything like that. But neither, it wasn't a match that really played to either guy's strength. So it, what it was was... 
uh, Zack Sabre Jr. from New Japan if he did a WWE match with Claudio. That's what it was. And uh, that's not necessarily a negative. It was a very good match. But Brian Danielson and, and Zack Sabre Jr. would have been infinitely better. You know, Claudio and Pac or Claudio and Andrade or Claudio and... Although Andrade's getting pretty big. All of those would be better Claudio matches. But I still thought it was a very good match. Rusty. Rusty Rose, 10 4 <laughs> Dusty, is it rusty or dusty? <laughs> it's uh, it's dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her- Herman way- Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. <laughs> way back then, they had cha- chain barricades, <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl- uh, Rick Flair and some more guys, and. <laughs> So that was that. I'm just too <laughs> Who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.